एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम This is uh, the second part that would talk about uh, the projection of line, uh, which is having an inclination with the vertical plane and the horizontal plane, both. Welcome to S Chand Academy. This is lecture six of the series Engineering Graphics, and I am Anmol Bhatia. If you want to refer the book by S Chand Publishing, you can. Uh, check the link below in the description box so let us start with the video so let's come to the concept which is the projection of line and it is the second part of the video uh, the contents that i would be covering here uh, would be related to the course module we are covering the module number 2 which is orthographic projection and here we are covering this topic which is projection of lines different cases what happens here uh, initially what we covered in the first part of the video we covered these four situations four cases uh, in which the line was having different um, connections with the hp and vp now uh, what happens in this fifth category that the line is inclined to both the horizontal plane and the vertical plane let's say i am having a line which is perpendicular so i can watch it from the top and get a top view and watch it from the front i'll get the front view this is the simple concept but if i talk about the line which is having an inclination with let's say horizontal plane let's say i have horizontal plane there and i'm having an inclination with the horizontal plane so for this it is also easy that we get the value which is front view and we get some view which is the top view but let's say i twist the question what twist is there i have an inclination with the hp and also i have an inclination with the vp so i have inclination with the hp and also with the vp so here what happens i'll get an inclined line of reduced length on the vp and i'll get the inclined line of reduced length on hp so it is very difficult for me to create that view uh by following the previous methods so for this we have a special method in order to uh, draw the front view and the top view of the line which is inclined to both the hp and vp both the planes so let us come to the concept i'll cover this this concept by a question so let us read the statement this question is having a, is saying that the line is having a length of 65 mm so the length of the line is given to you as 65 mm that means you have the true length of the line as 65 mm and inclination to both are mentioned that it is having 40 degree inclination and 50 degree inclination to the hp and vp part and it is also mentioned that the end a is 10 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of the vp so initially uh, we'll proceed by uh, having this information uh on the drawing so we'll proceed by so we'll proceed by making the xy line initially so i have the xy line which is this line and then on the xy line i need to make the projector first and this yellow line indicates the light line so that would be lighter as compared to the previous version of the line then the information says that the end a is 10 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp that means the line is there in the first quadrant above hp and in front of vp indicates that the line is there in the first quadrant and in the first quadrant situation we know that the front view is above xy line and the top view is below this xy line this is as per the previous concepts that we already know that we already started now what happens here i need to indicate the distance so this distance is how much i have told you that hp's distance is linked with the front view so this distance is 10 mm and vp's distance is linked with the top view so this distance is also 10 mm now what happens i need to 
make the locus of both the lines. So I'll prepare the locus of both the lines, uh, both the points, and the locus also would be drawn with the help of the light line. Now what happens? Uh, HP is having an inclination which is 40 degree and VP is having an inclination which is 50 degree. So what I will do, I will um, make these two angles initially and mark the length as true length only which is 65 mm. So I will make this line inclined at an angle of 40 degree. Why 40 degree, why not 50 degree because HP's distance is linked with front view. So I have made this, I have made this uh, angle in the front view itself and the second angle I will make in the top view. So this angle is 50 degree and that is to be indicated. So this part is to be indicated there. So I have indicated both the angles. Now this information is there from the question that I already have. Now what happens here, I need to cut the distance which is 65 mm. So this true length is 65 mm only. So I need to indicate this distance as B1 dash. It is not B dash because this is not the front view, rather this is the true length. Similarly, here I have the 65 mm value and I need to indicate B1 here. Okay, now this information is being drawn on the diagram. Now comes the process or the procedure on how to make the front view and the top view when the line is inclined to both the planes. In this procedure, I have told you that the line would appear shorter. Sorry, the front view and the top view would appear shorter. So in order to depict them on the drawing, what we do? We generally uh, use make the locus of both the points that we already have. So we have this point. So make the locus of this point and here also we make the locus of the point. Let me just mention here locus. So I mentioned here locus. I have written it light uh, but you need not to write on the drawing because this is self explanatory that this is the locus part. Now what is to be done here? You have to extend this line till this point and name this point as 1. Extend this point to meet the front view and name this point as 1. This length is called as lateral front view. This length is called as lateral front view. Now this lateral front view is to be converted into the front view by some process. And what is that process? I need to open the compass. I would use a compass for this. So the pointed end of the compass would be placed here and the pencil end of the compass is placed here. That means the length of the arc that you will be making is this length. Take this length and draw the arc so that it cuts the locus of this first line. So when it cuts on the first line, this is called as B dash. This is called as the front view. So you have this part as the front view. So I may use a different color for this. So this part is B dash and join A dash with B dash with a dark line. This dark line indicates the front view. Rest everything is light on the figure. So use a 2H or a 1H pencil to indicate these light lines. So you got the front view and the question says that draw the projections. So you got the front view there. Now in order to indicate the top view, what you do, you will have this front view, just extend this front view so that it meets the locus of the below point. So it, when it meets the below point, you will get the point as B. When A matches with B, you will get the top view. The concept is same of orthographic projection that Exactly below the front view, the top view lies. That's why I've extended this point and make them joined. So when we join them together, we'll get the case of AB, correct? So this is the case or this is the situation when we um, 
generally have the process of making the front view and the top view when the line is inclined to both the horizontal plane and the vertical planes. So I hope this concept is clear. Additionally, here the question sometimes says that draw the trace, draw the horizontal trace and draw the vertical trace. So let us uh, have a look on the topic also on how to draw these traces. So for this, what we'll do uh, for making the trace, we'll extend the front views and the top views together. Let me just rub this part and then we'll proceed. So what to do here, I'll be extending the front view part. So the front view, the part is to be extended and the top view part is also extended. So the front view is extended and the top view is extended so that they meet on the XY line. The point where the front view is required or the front view is produced, that point is called as H point. And this point is called as the V point. So this point is called as H and this point is called as V. Now the main agenda is to match this H point with the top view because front view will give you the H point and I want to match the H point with the top view. So what I do, I'll make a perpendicular from H point and when it matches with the top view, I'll get the horizontal trace of this line. Similarly, when I extend this V point and when it matches with the front view, I'll get the vertical trace of this. So I'll get the HT and VT part. This may come in the part which is above XY line or it may come below the XY line situation. Okay. So with this, we come to the end of the lecture. And in this part of the video, we have covered uh, the case in which the line was inclined to both the planes, namely horizontal plane and the vertical plane. And it would be difficult for us to draw that line or the views uh, as per the previous concept. So for this, we have a different concept. And in this video, we have learned about the similar concepts. You can also refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing by clicking the link below in the description box. If you find the video interesting, you can like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.